the iPhone 10, your iPhone is locked until you look at it and it recognizes you. Nothing has ever been simpler, more natural, and effortless. We call this Face ID. So Face ID is the future of how we will unlock our smartphones and protect our sensitive information. To make Face ID possible took some of the most advanced technology we have ever created. And much of it is packed right up here into this tiny little area at the top of the display. We call this the True Depth Camera System. And it is made up of incredible state-of-the-art technology. There's an infrared camera, a flood illuminator, the front side camera, and a dot projector. And that's not all. There's also the proximity sensor, the ambient light sensor, the speaker and microphone, all packed into this true depth camera system area. It is amazing. And here's how it works. Every time you glance at your iPhone 10, it detects your face with the flood illuminator, even in the dark. The IR camera takes an IR image. The dot projector projects out over 30,000 invisible IR dots. We use the IR image and the dot pattern and we push them through neural networks to create a mathematical model of your face. And then we check that mathematical model against the one that we've stored that you set up earlier to see if it's a match and unlock your phone. And this all happens in real time. It all happens invisibly. You don't see these things going off. It's incredible. It just all works and all happens. To create Face ID, we worked with thousands of people around the world, and the team took over a billion images. And with that, they developed multiple neural networks to create Face ID. And to process the machine learning in Face ID's neural networks, we built Apple's first ever neural engine. Yeah, this is a big deal. In our pockets, in our phones, is an A11 bionic chip with a built-in neural engine to process face recognition. <laughs> now the neural engine is specialized hardware built for a specific set of machine learning algorithms. This is another example of the incredible collaboration between the hardware and software teams that's only possible at Apple. The neural engine is a study-of-the-art ultra-fast processing system. It uses our highest density computing ever. It's a dual-core design. It can perform over 600 billion operations per second, and it's used to the real-time processing of face ID recognition. But for all of us, it's just super easy and fun to use. When you set up Face ID, you just follow the on-screen instructions, and it tells you how to move your head around in the camera so Face ID can recognize your face. And that's it. You do that once when you set it up. And Face ID learns your face. Even if you change your hairstyle, you decide to put on glasses, you're wearing a hat, or you do it up any way you do it, Face ID learns your face. It learns who you are. And it adapts to you as your face changes over time. Let's say you start to grow a beard. It works in day. It works at night. Now, the teams worked hard to make sure the face ID can easily be spoofed by things like photographs. They've even gone and worked with professional mask makers and makeup artists in Hollywood to protect against these attempts to beat face ID. These are actual masks used by the engineering team to train the neural networks to protect against them in face ID. It's incredible. The teams worked hard to protect your face data. Yes. Your face data is protected with the secure enclave and the A11 Bionic chip. All the processing is done on iPhone 10 and not sent to a server. We require user attention to unlock. That means if your eyes are closed, you're looking away, it's not going to unlock. Now, how do we compare that to Touch ID? How secure is it? Well, there's no perfect system, not even biometric ones. But as we said earlier, Touch ID is the gold standard for consumer device biometric protection. And the data for Touch ID has been 1 in 50,000, meaning that the chance that a random person could use their fingerprint to unlock your iPhone has been about 1 in 50,000, and it's been great. So what are the similar statistics for Face ID? 1 in a million.
the chance that a random person in the population could look at your iPhone 10 and unlock it with their face is about one in a million. And of course, the statistics are lower if that person shares a close genetic relationship with you. So for example, if you happen to have an evil twin, <laughs> you really need to protect your passcode with your sensitive data with a passcode. Hopefully you don't. Face ID also works with Apple Pay. So to pay for things, you just double tap the button on the side, you look at iPhone 10 to authenticate, and hold it near the payment terminal to pay. It's that easy, fast, intuitive, simple. Face ID also works with third-party apps. Third-party apps already support Touch ID, and they'll work with Face ID. So apps like Mint, 1Password, E-Trade will all work with Face ID. So Face ID, it's face, uh, face authentication for unlocking your iPhone and protecting your sensitive data. It uses the innovative TrueDepth camera system. It's trained with neural networks. It's easy to set up. It learns your face, and it adapts to your face over time. It's aware of your attention. It works with Apple Pay, and it works with third-party apps. 